Hello there everybody, this is Mario Baby 13 here and welcome back to Siberia 2. Oh man, we definitely got a whole lot of work ahead of us. Hans is Hans is in trouble and it looks like it's that we're gonna to need to find a way to get up to the monastery. Okay, um, okay, okay, I gotta remember how I did this game years ago, okay, so far I got only a coin and a small key, that's all I have, I mean a few coins and a small key, maybe the coins go into that thing back there, I don't know, but, is there anything over here? Okay, I think I remember from when the last time I played this game is that I have to show them. I have to show them stuff. I mean, show them something. Okay, we gotta go up this way. I think I remember. It was something to deal with this thing. Okay, it looks like this thing over here could be for coins. No. This thing's. Okay, it looks like is I gotta put some special coin in there. Huh. This thing's Okay, uh maybe I can maybe I gotta make a phone call? I guess I'll call mom. Okay. Oh, uh, hello. Uh, I'm going to- Mom's not at home. Uh, she'd have never understood why- Okay. Huh. Okay, there must be something I am missing here. Um... There must be a person that would know what to do. Huh. Maybe I gotta talk to some people at the bar. Maybe she would know? How is it going? I suppose there are monks at the monastery. That's right. Monks with big black robes. They're really creepy. There's nothing to be afraid of. As monks, they must be good men. And you tell me they can treat Hans? The Patriarch is a stern old man. He won't treat your friend if you don't follow the monastery rules. Oh! How do you know that, Malka? He wouldn't look after Mama straight away. Because of the rules. That's why she's dead. I'm sorry, Malka. Uh-huh. Tell me. How is it going? Thank you for- Come back. Okay, what minus the your rules? Okay, let's go ahead and head into the bar. Maybe... Maybe the guy in the bar would know what the monastery rules are. Hi, Mr. Sir- What ca- Huh. Tell me, Mr. Sirkos. It was you who took in the- I just couldn't bear to leave a little girl like that. What happened to her? Oh, a gypsy woman fleeing God knows what monkey business. She got here half dead and crazed with fever. The monks helped her, isn't that right? Uh, you could say that. When they stopped being high and mighty, they took her up to their monastery for treatment. But it was far too late for the poor girl. Them old crows make up their own rules. They'd leave a man to rot rather than get their habits dirty. I don't like them one bit, Miss Walker. What rules are you talking about? It's a phony old custom. 
To decide whether a dying man is actually dying at all, the patriarch of the monastery looks at the patient's face before deciding yay or nay. But how? I don't understand. They kind of make this print of the face on a piece of cloth, you know, like the Shroud of Jesus in the Bible. Okay, Shroud. I must confess I don't really understand this Shroud story. You will see, just outside the village, the monks have put this kind of iron box. A box containing a pile of linen sheets. When you put one of these sheets over the face of the sick man, it has the curious property of soaking up all his sweat and juices. So effective it is that all the features of his face can be seen on the cloth. And so the old patriarch looks to this print to form his diagnosis? At least what he can judge is whether that face on the shroud is sick enough to get dragged up those rocks to the monastery and be treated by him. I suppose anybody can take a cloth from the crate if he needs it? You suppose wrong, Miss Walker. One person has charge of the distribution of the said shrouds, and that's Malka. She sure is proud of her position. The Patriarch himself gave her the responsibility, and that kid ain't giving it up for no man, believe me. Oh, so Malka has I've got to go, go cool. Mighty kind. Okay, so Malka, the little girl, has the responsibility of, I'm guessing, safeguarding the monastery in a way, because not just anyone can go ahead and get a person, I mean, get a person to go out to the monastery. How is it going? He told me why they couldn't treat her at the monastery. Yes, Kate. Sometimes, people get too sick and there's nothing that can be done. Is your friend too sick? I hope he isn't. I'm going to help you, Kate. Uh, I need help. Can you help me, Malka? Mm. Only if your friend is a little bit sick. Not too much or you'll be sad. We'll see. Let's give it a try, you know? Like for your mother, with the monks. On the road to the monastery, there's a kind of box with sheets. The monks call them shrouds. I'm going to give you a token so you can get one. It's very important, Kate Walker. Then what do I do with this shroud? Take it and lay it over your friend's face. Okay, I'll give it a try. Okay, so oh, I see it looks like that the thing. So the iron box back there. I know there was something to do with the iron box. Thank you for come back and see me. I like you, Kate. Oh, uh, she's like a very she's a very nice little girl. It's very awesome that the bar owner decides to take her under his wing. You know what I mean? Like taking care of the little girl and stuff like that, especially in a town like this, there could be full, full of bad influences. You never know. Okay. So for right now, we gotta use the token on this. Keep token, goes in there, then we pull the lever, bam, got the shroud. Okay, so next is that we gotta lay it over Hans's face. Okay, we're gonna lay it on Hans's face and we'll be golden. And then we'll be able to go on up to the monastery and then the patriarch of the monastery is going to say yay or nay to if he can ever be cured or stuff like that. So for right now, let's get going. Okay. Oh yeah, we gotta go back on over to the train. Freak yeah, let's go. Okay, this is nice. Okay.
Hans the Shroud. I would like to see. Okay. Okay, now back on over to the monastery. Okay, here we go. Back to the monastery, baby. Hopefully, we'll be able to go in there and maybe punch a monk. Not just kidding. <laughs> I'm not joking about that, everybody. But still, from what the villagers are telling me, is that the monks are pretty creepy. Okay, let me pull this thing again. Maybe this time it's going to be different. No. Uh, okay. Still the same. Along with me. Maybe Malka would know? Tell me, how is it? Tell me, how is it going? Nope. Yeah, let's try the bar. Hi, Mr. S what can I Nope. I can't. Exhausted all my conversation topics. Okay, uh, where else to? Oh, wait a minute. Oscar can come. Maybe Oscar can come. Okay. Maybe I should have thought of that before. Well, Oscar's an automaton. He's not exactly a human being, so. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the general store guy, and then I'm going to go ahead and talk to Oscar. Colonel Amelia? Is everything... Hell. Colonel, you don't have one of those whistles for making bird noises among your many treasures here, do you? A bird call? Why, I sell them by the truckload during the hunting season. I've got a whole collection of them. I think I've got just what you need somewhere. Aha! The white out, the white raven. Okay, I should have went to this guy the whole time. The silver bird call. Thanks for all your help. The pleasure. Okay, so it seems is that I should have went to this guy the whole time. Silly me, I got myself lost. I thought I had to go ahead and talk to a local about going over to the monks. Matter of fact, the, the colonel guy is a local, but still, I thought I had to talk to people down here rather than going up there, but silly me. But I will definitely try to, my best to make sure that on the next Siberia 2 video I am going to make sure is that I will not make myself get lost again. Otherwise, it's wasting everybody's time. I don't know. That's just from that's just from my perspective of things. Now the music starts playing, which means I think I'm doing something right. So right now is that now since I got the silver bird call thing, is that we should be able to use that to be able to call up the. Meru Balka, I think that's what it's called, and it is called a White Raven. Uh, 
Okay, okay. Uh, we got the gold bird call, the silver bird call, and the black bird call. Let's try silver. Because a monk is in the way that I couldn't steal a monk robe. Okay, then we can go ahead. Oh, yeah. Oh man, nice disguise, Kate. You better not run, otherwise you'll trip. Okay, so right now let's go ahead and ring this bell. It shook his head, yes. I mean, it not its head, yes. So we're gonna head inside. I bet these monks never seen a never seen a lady in their life. Okay. And so for right now, we gotta talk to their patriarch. Freaking bell scared me. Okay, so which way do we need to go? Let's try this way. Time to be really awesome and very sneaky. Could this be the Patriarch's place? Yeah, I'm guessing so, and it's a pretty fancy door there. Hello? Anybody there? Uh-oh. Kate, you should have used lower voices! Uh, excuse me. What? A woman? Women are expressly prohibited. What the devil are you doing here, woman? My name is Kate Walker. I'm a lawyer from New York. Ah. Kate, uh, hi. I have a friend who is really sick. In the village, I was told that... We must all brave the ordeals the Lord sends us, my child. Uh, mission. I have come to ask the assistance of the priest healer in the monastery. My friend is very unwell and very old. Sometimes a body weary of life refuses treatment. That is why we here tend to the soul. From what element is your friend suffering? A high fever. It started with a kind of fit. He fell. Sometimes we have to just accept the inevitable, my child, and resign ourselves to the call of time. Uh, mission. You don't understand. Maybe Hans is old and frail, but he has but one desire, to continue his journey. We have to learn how to meet our fate, my child. This is God's will. My friend needs treatment. You are the only one for miles around who can give him the care he needs. I need a sign from the Almighty or else I can do nothing for your friend. I really need you. My girl. But this is an extreme. There is a. Here, the shroud. I know what you were telling me. I brought the shroud. Show me. Right. We will go search for your friend. Okay. It's our man. He's got something. 
Jansen? I can barely hear you. Mr. Moss. What news have you got? I, I talked to the hotel guys, Mr. Morrison. She checked out a barrel bat last week. Headed off with Hans Vorlberg. How is she? Seems her health is fine, Mr. Morrison, but, uh... What? Her behavior seems... Don't beat about the bush, Jansen, please. Look, Mr. Morrison, it's like this. I'm afraid that Miss Walker has been acting... Now, how do you say it? Differently. <laughs> Did you sleep well, my child? Yes, yes, thank you. How is Hans? Alas, you brought him to us so late, my child. I fear we cannot do much. We are going to concentrate on tending to his soul. What? What did you say? The man is worn and old. His final hour is upon him. But that's impossible. Your friend is dying. You must believe me, my child. Help? Please take care of Hans, father, please. Torment yourself no longer, my girl. I will tend to the poor soul. Miss No, it just isn't possible. Hans Varlberg can't fail. Not like that. He's dreamed of reaching Siberia. Men run after Chimera their whole lives, my child. But God detests dreamers and their utopian pies and... Can I see him? No. I do not advise it. Deranged minds are often too addled by evil. And you could become contaminated by its sly malevolence. Look, contagion doesn't bother me. I've got to talk with him. The rules, Miss Walker. Remember the rules. No one talks to the sick. Wow. I just can't abandon. Okay. So be it. Your friend. Okay. It looks like this is going to be a good time for me to stop the video from here. And I'm hoping that you'll have a good day. And I'll see you again next time. Take care of yourselves, everybody. To meet there we go. Don't worry. I'm already on it. I already got multiple places for housing and stuff. There we go. Okay, that is great. Okay, but what is this wild water bay? High humidity farms require less energy, but maintenance credits cost for all electronics considerably increased. Okay. High humidity. Okay, so it's telling me that the repair cost is going to go up for all electronics because of the high humidity. So now then, I'm going to create a logistics right over. Let's place it here. 